Hello, it's just me and Wes and today for for the Dogs Channel podcast or whatever you guys call it today. So today we're playing Top Picks again. Alright. Go first. Have you ever performed, spoken, or competed in front of an audience? Um, I mean, I've shown cattle. I mean, that's kind of in front of people, but yeah, no, it goes fine in there. How important is money? Um, I guess it's really important because you kind of need it for everyday lives, and it kind of helps paying off stuff and get you around places. How much do you care what others think of you? How does it affect your life? Um, I don't really care what people think about me. I just kind of hang out with my friends who truly care for me. And, you know, quality over quantity. Care about friends that are better than having multiple friends. When have you got lots in? Wait. When have you got <laughs> gotten lost? <laughs> what happened? Um, don't remember any time getting lost. But I have a story about my little brother who got lost. Apparently he sprang for us in the playground, but I guess we... I don't know what happened. Something about in the playground, he got lost by himself. And we left him there. Thank God it was just two blocks away from us. Should people be free to do anything they want if they're not hurting anyone else? Um, I mean, some things that are kind of just carefree can lead up to someone getting hurt, so I guess I don't think so. I don't think you should do whatever you want. Because we have rules in the first place. Oh, my turn. Okay, remember time you or someone else laughed uncontrollably? Probably a couple months ago, like probably at the state fair. Or in class. Has anything happened in class? No. I don't think so. I don't remember people laughing too much in class. Oh. Except for the girls, because they just laugh about anything, I guess. Or whenever Caleb laughs, because it sounds like windshield wipers. Yep, that too. That makes everyone laugh, so. There's that. What's your favorite thing about school? It's definitely when Caleb laughs. Yeah, it's just funny. We all laugh out of control. It's just hard not to, and it's hard to get him to stop. Because with him, it just keeps on replaying in his mind and just keeps on laughing. As a child, do you find it easy to fit in? As a child, I don't think there's any problems in the world. So yes, I think I fit in perfectly without knowing what's going on because I think that's a perfect time I fit in. Okay, give me another one. Oh, that was weird. Oh, uh, do you remember your first experience with a new technology? Honestly, it was when I, the first phones I got, a flip phone. That was something new. Pressing three buttons just to get to a Z. That was definitely something new. How often do you drink caffeine? Do you rely on it? I do not rely on caffeine. I barely drink it probably two times a month or so, less than that. But I do not rely on it. I can go without it for months or weeks, and or probably years, kind of. You're not really re reliant on it? No. Probably you guys do, right? 
for me. Yeah. I want to drink it quite a bit, but I'm, I wouldn't say I'm relying on it. I just kind of do it. Yeah. Especially, but the only time I kind of rely on it is kind of get ahead in the morning. Yeah. Because I'm just sleepy and tired and not ready for the day. Have a few sips of a Coke or Mountain Dew. Get me up. That's get me house, going. That still has caffeine now. Hmm? That still has caffeine. Yeah. But I'm not really reliant on it. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Just a couple more. Oh, oof. Keep going. Mm. Do you think humans will merge with technology? If so, how will it change the world? Uh, me and technology don't really get along, so I know I'm not going to merge with it. So, I don't know about the world, but I feel like things will get really fast and hectic. Yeah, what he said. Um. How has your hometown changed since you're young? It's changed because the population is going down. And it's kind of the same, I'm not going to lie. I looked at pictures at it, still the same. Kind of like it now. That's like, the main street is full of like bricks of, yeah, it's, the streets are just full of bricks for main street. It's pretty cool. Can't miss it. I wish I can go back. Okay, you go. You have one month to travel anywhere. All expenses paid. Where will you go and what will you do? Honestly, I have no interest in the world going anywhere. What? Really? Yeah. Just kind of seems like the big places, they're just full of crazy people and I don't want to be there. I'd rather just here where it's quiet and nice and slow. Especially I got friends here do crazy stuff. So yeah. But if I had the option to take friends, we would go wherever. We would just keep going from state to state or country to country. Yeah. So we're going to do one more each so we can finish this up and wrap it up. Yeah. Oh, shoot. You can visit any time in place, past or future, where you go. The future, because I don't want, want to know what happens. Yeah, that's the main thing. Might be pretty cool, I can honestly, visiting the future. Seeing what's new, what's old, what stays the same. I guess yeah. it's going to stay pretty much the same for a couple 50 years, I'm guessing, or 20-ish. Okay, what was the first concert you went to? Honestly, it wasn't really a concert. It was going to the Fluffy... He's a oh. comedian. During, I went to uh, that too. Yeah. I was pretty close up there. It's just me and my mom and dad up there. That was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. You can smell the bacon from him. So, what test your patience? Oh, never mind. I thought it was like an actual test. <laughs> This Mr. Justin screaming. I wish you guys can hear it. Um, imagine you, you had all the money you ever need. How will you spend this, your time? I don't know. It's probably going to be hard because it's a lot of money I need. And probably I want since I'm young. I just want money. That's all I think of. So I don't know how I would spend my time with it. I just probably go places, bunch. weird places, you know? I don't know. Probably spend a good time with it and have fun with it. Honestly, If you had that type of money, what would you do? Honestly, just buy a whole bunch of pickups, tune them out, clean them. Mm, yeah, that too. And then buy a whole bunch of houses. You can do a lot of things with money nowadays. Yeah. Money can buy you happiness, people say, but... Well, oh, well, that's can. nice. Money can get you access to happiness. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. You guys have a good day and good night.